Last time on Rags to Riches 2024. I have no items, blah, 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 blah. The game deleted my contract progress? Dude, what the fuck am I doing? And now I met Colonel Sanders? Found two sticky jumpers on STN, so I snagged those as fast as I could. And I noticed a guy collecting a thousand second bananas, so I sent him an offer with two of mine to see if he'd actually accept. Listen, man, I would send you bulk, but I'm poor. World's first fair trade-up series, let's go. Don't you fucking leave me, Mr. Rainbow. God, I'm not doing anything shady off camera. Please believe me. I was tired, Grandpa. Well, that's just too damn bad. Yeah, I'm back, baby. I know. Holy shit, he's actually making another one. Uh, of course I am. Who do you think you're talking to? Anyway, uh, last video did really good. So, uh, thank you for that. I'm not crying, you are. Okay, so I logged in and got a scrap metal. And to be completely honest, I don't even remember what it was from. But, uh, it was probably selling a quick fix for profit or something. I then started looking for painted cosmetics to resell, which there were. However, I didn't buy them because they weren't high demand paints at all, nor was the paint region that good. So, I passed. I did actually notice quite a lot of people in the comments saying they were also trying to trade up and a lot wanted advice as well so uh i'll start explaining a little bit more why i'm not doing certain deals and why i do on others i'll just briefly explain how i determine what painted cosmetics are worth selling and which aren't usually it actually has to do with three things when reselling painted cosmetics popularity of the hat paint region and competition let me explain the viewfinder that i bought in the last episode for example i'd say it's more middle ground popularity not insanely popular but it's definitely used by many it also has a very nice paint region meaning it paints a majority of the cosmetic which are way easier to resell for profit compared to others that only have small paint regions. You like that chuckle much? Manco Orange is also mid slash low tier paint, which means basically people like it, but don't overbuy it. And make sure there's little to no competition for that paint or <clears throat> paints that have higher demand, which would be more popular paints like Abundance of Tinge, for example. XD, 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 what HUD do you use? XD, 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 what HUD? What HUD, dude? Holy shit. Okay, man. Yes, I use Hex HUD. Jesus. I'm just going to put my HUD recording time and trading time in the description for these videos from now on. On so you can see how long it's taken me per episode to trade up. But anyway, I tabbed into TF2 and got a totally radical bison, dude. It's just a bison, guys. Shut the fuck up, all right? The almighty bison. Found a dude selling an egghead's overalls for more than a ref under Bioware, so I got it super excited, sent him a trade, and he didn't even have it. Why did you lie to me? Wah. After my mental breakdown, I decided to look at the Bioware's for all the non-craftable weapons from the last episode that I picked up. Holy shit, please get the shit out of my inventory right now. And I got a scrap. I then found more Bioware's for them, so I quick sold all I could for easy profit. I only sold the one. Also then put back up for sale all the stuff I'm selling because, uh, truthfully, I have not touched this account since my first episode. Uh, I then tabbed back into Wonderful News, and our Banana Man friend completed his collection of glorious Banana Man friend bananas. So like the good person I am, I congratulated him. Please accept me. I found a deep cover slightly under buy orders, so I snagged it, and oh my god, not you again. Looking fresh, eh, Mr. Sensei? Found two head warmers, so I flipped them. Found more hair from my grandfather, so I grabbed it and resold it for a reclaimed profit. But then I realized I fucked up and spent a more than I should have on it, so I lost half a ref profit. No! See, I mess up too, guys. It's okay. Moving on. Anyway, I resold more manly hair to get a bit more money back that I just lost, and uh, we're almost back on track. This time, I double-checked the bot to make sure it actually had metal before it screwed me again. How dare you tell me what I can and cannot afford, bot? Oh, I never sold the Allfather. father. <clears throat> I should not be trading today. Oh my god! Anyway, I uh, tried again, and it worked, so... uh. Whatever, guys, okay? Then I found more profit and got all the lost profit back, so now I'm chilling. Basically, kept on trading over and over, finding more and more shit, blah, blah, blah. Basically, same shit from last episode. Check the painted cosmetics, nothing. Check scrap weapons, nothing. Basically, the average trader experience, nothing new to see here. Then I found huge profit, holy shit! That's what I'm saying. I kept doing this for deadass like 20 minutes and bought their entire I stock. Give me more. Oh, the name actually makes sense here. Anyway, I bought the entirety of them off of scrap and resold all of them. It was like 6.66 refined profit, which was nuts, baby. I found about selling slate paint for half a ref lower than buy orders, so immediately snagged both as fast as I could. For some reason, the bot went lower than he was selling it for on Backpack. He gave it to me for 18.33 instead of uh, 18.55, so uh, that, that was odd, but... Uh, Regardless, I'm not going to complain. Anyway, easy profit. Uh, JK had errored and made me pay what it was originally. Can't have shit, bro. Someone was spamming presents and I got a vaccinator, bro. That's huge. Holy shit. Just going to remove the name real quick. Then I tabbed in my inventory and noticed I got a lot of gifted shit, including a free hat. <clears throat> Anyways, going to continue on. Sorry. So I sold the vaccinator in Lushar for, uh, for a huge profit. What are you waiting for? That's literally it. 
You can go away now. Okay, so I didn't actually sell the loot store yet because I noticed buy orders are pretty low compared to other sellers. So instead, I tried to list it for sale to try to, you know, milk as much profit as I possibly could from it. Shh, Sasha is asleep. And I found a Buck Turner with purple paint, which is huge, but I'm way too broke. God, why me? Oh, just kidding. Uh, buy orders were under what I would have paid anyway, so I didn't really feel too bad about it. Still would have been nice profit, though. Found a couple blighted beaks under buy orders, so you guessed it, I resold them. This bot fails me every time, dude. Anyway, finally got them sold, so that's wonderful. Don't go into the light. Don't go into the light. Found a Q suit, one reclaimed under buy order, so I would buy it if this stupid bot would hurry the hell up. Oh, there it goes. Tee hee. Ow, my ears! Holy shit! Found an anime hair thing for five scrap under buy orders with an odd paint, which I could resell for profit, but uh, after checking the paint, wouldn't add that much. So I quick sold instead to toilet, bitch! So I found some cheap mercenary cosmetics on scrap and STN for 2.55, 2.66, 2.77, 2.88, and another one for 2.88. Why is this important? I'll show you right now. So in total, I spent 13.77 refined just now, but uh, you can actually use these to make stack clocks. You can use freelance grade and up to make stat clocks. So then I made one and resold it for 14.66, so almost a full ref profit. Not bad. Tried to snag a team captain, which would have been huge profit, but of course it got snagged right before I bought it. A random painted Balaclava Escapist that's level one showed up on scrap, so I snagged it without checking because the paint's expensive regardless. Looks nice. Not bad. There's not really a competition other than team spirit. Uh, however, I could still probably sell it higher since I'm the only seller. So I put it up for 18, saying I'll discount for 15 for full pure just to see if someone bites. But if not, I spent 1.77 on it, so uh, it's what Whatever, to be honest. Found a lurking legionnaire a bit under buy order, so I snagged it too. Started checking strange parts since I haven't really had the currency to buy them before, but now I do, and already found some juicy, fat, thick ass profit. Found more paint, yada, 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 whatever. Then my cat unplugged my monitor, so I spent a minute fixing it. Then uh, I went right back to trading, baby. Found more strange parts, more paints, uh, then looked for 20 minutes and couldn't find much, so I decided I'm going to take a break and come back tomorrow with so my brain cells don't commit non breathing. Second day! Alright, technically third day since I didn't actually trade on the second day. Instead, I relaxed. How dare you, you lazy piece of shit? I know, I know. Anyway, I logged in and got an offer for both my painted cosmetics, which was nuts, so I quickly accepted both before both of the offers went away. Also found another random summer case that was pretty cool too. Less exciting, but uh, still cool. Found a couple of painted cosmetics, including Orange Dead of Night and a 216 Summer Shades, but after looking at backpack listings, I quickly decided neither were that worth it, so I passed. My man, buying all those quick fixes from me, apparently saw the video and said to let him know if I found more quick fixes or vaccinators, I could sell them to him for profit, but of course, I'm not just going to use this beautiful man. I'm a traitor, not a monster. Okay, okay, look, it's it's one away from being a monster, okay? It's like it's like borderline nut job, but not quite. I then found a Zay Uber, uh, Fucking whatever the hell, and resold it for two scrap profit. Had back in to accept my beautiful items in a music is good, comrade. Anyway, I found a third degree, so that's cool, I, I guess. Then I found some okay profit, so I got excited. Then bam, my whole day was ruined. Notice some of the non craftable weapons I got from the first episode. Again, I got more buy orders, so I quick sold what I could, because screw trying to sell that shit. Found a dude selling paints a bit cheaper than buy orders for some reason, even though he can, you know, just quick sell it for full price, even higher than. What are you trying to sell it for? But what do I know? I just got this game for Christmas. I know it's October. So I sent him an offer and prayed to Gabe in Christ that he would accept. And of course he didn't. Why does everyone hate me? <laughs> I then checked strange weapons to find parts on them that could add value to them. And I, uh, found... However, it wasn't complete waste because check this out. Remember the stack clock thing I was talking about earlier? Yeah. Yay, that's right. Yay. I found a sharpened volcano fragment, which was perfect because I was about to murder every single chocolate bar in existence just for my own gain. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I, I basically just turned them into stack clocks. Shocking. A random guy from the same server I was on uh, apparently added me, so I accepted to see what my boy needs. Oh, he sent me an offer. I wonder what for. Oh, oh my god. Am I? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> I need to go. You hurt me. After I declined it and cried for a bit, I went back to buying more chocolate to destroy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I deleted uh, chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. Now I have the stack clock, but my inventory didn't update, so I force updated my inventory by trying to trade one of the items that were originally in my inventory before I deleted them. Uh, which made the bot recognize I don't actually have it, and somehow makes my inventory get updated. Why does that make sense? I don't know! Uh, am I making sense? Who the hell knows? Anyway, I sent a trade command to a bot, and he was a broke-ass bitch, so I went to another bot, and, uh, he accepted. Found a fabulous beard that makes me look like a sophisticated businessman. Uh, because I am. I, uh, I winked. 
You, you couldn't see it, but but I winked. Anyway, I saw that I could quick sell it for 3 ref for that paint, so I did exactly that. Wasn't worth selling it higher since someone was selling one at 4.44, so the time it would have taken was not worth it. Found a cosmetic to scrap under buy orders, so I queued to buy it, but I uh, got stuck in queue for five minutes, so that was a bit of a waste of time. I then decided to gamble to try and craft objectors uh, because I'm bored as hell, and if I lose it, uh, I only really lose like two reclaimed when the profit margin is way higher, so... Also, I need to make things interesting, because holy shit, trading sucks. Which, of course, made me lose profit. So my dumbass decided to do it three more times! And as I was questioning everything, the very last one was an objector, so I made profit. Now that my gambling addiction is tingling, I will now do it three more times to see if I get another. I can stop whenever I want, shut the hell up! I then got quickly irritated with scraps, so I switched to the better, more attractive website, STN instead, because at least this one fuck works! But after all that, I finally made the tokens and got nothing. Nothing, and... And yes, baby! Hell yeah! Okay, now I'm satisfied. Again, updated my inventory and sold both objectors for a big profit. Also sold the other weapons that were worth something, uh, just so I have more metal available. Wasn't worth keeping, since it would have taken forever to sell and would have only been like a scrap profit back. Then after I sold them, I decided I've had enough trading today, and instead of going to bed so I can wake up in time for work, I just played Pixelmon for an hour! <laughs> Selfie time! Woo! Hey, you look at me right now! Third day! Notice the guy didn't accept the quick sell for the gold painted Yuri, so I sent him another, hoping to god he gets this shit out of my inventory, please! Anyway, I got on and found a bird for under buy orders, so I quick sold it. After accepting my items, I apparently found a golf club, so maybe after this I can go touch grass. Checked buy orders on my non-craftables again and quick sold two of them for profit, so GG. Then I actually changed my mind on the Yuri and figured I might as well stretch out the profit and try to get at least four F off of it, so I listed it for five, and we'll discount it four for you know. In case anyone is wondering why I add the discounting part, it's so I'm not directly undercutting anyone so they don't undercut me in return, but people will still usually go for my trade instead since they can get it a bit cheaper by going to me instead. Look at this guy, with his cool ass power jack, in his Gucci ass hat. Look at him, being successful. I hate that. He didn't do anything wrong to me, but I hate him with all my inner being. Oh shit, it's loading me. Okay, so never mind. I, I forgot to remove the listing on the Yuri, so I, I sold it for 3 ref anyway. Cool. Found some pretty decent painted cosmetics on STN, that being Budget Uncle Dane and Edgy Furry Middle Schooler. Saw that I didn't really uh, have any competition for either, so I bought both. And of course, listed them. Of course, yes, I used someone's name for my own advantage, just like every other trader main. I'm growing up so fast. <sighs> Joey Big Nuts. I think someone's compensating. And now for some trade server ASMR. Shut the fuck up. I want SpongeBob ice cream. I only eat cinnamon roll. God, it's so beautiful. Quite motivational. I'm not tingling, you are. Shut up. More gambling, let's go! And I lost money. Why did I gamble, dude? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm never gambling ever again. Ever. Oh cool, I got all of it back. Okay, and holy shit, I found the jackpot of mini baby profit. I just basically spam bought these, meet the medic taunts, and resold for 2 ref profit each time. I could have bought them and sold them higher for like 34 ref. However, I noticed the buy orders and seller just fluctuate like crazy, so I decided not to risk it and uh, just grab the profit while I can. I then joined a raffle just to prove, yes, I know that they exist, but uh, I could get more profit for the most part actually using trading sites. However, just joined one to show that you can do this as a profit method as well. Oh my god, happy birthday, Quinchisela! Slay! What? Wait. Who is buying this shit for this much other than Kanan? What the hell? Anyway, I found some more cosmetics under buy orders and resold them for profit immediately. And then they didn't have metal again, bro. I'm so pissed. After tapping in and waiting for this stupid bot to accept, <clears throat> I tapped back in and found a Wrangler, which is cool. Then I found some really cheap mercenary grade items and turned them into a stack block. And holy shit, he actually has metal. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's huge profit. Oh my god, yes. <gasps> no. Bots are trying to scam me again. <laughs> so I remember when I said I wasn't going to gamble anymore. Me neither. Finally, dude. Holy shit. Okay, so I made out with a good ref or two profit. 100% worth it, and I don't care what literally anyone tells me. Finally, someone more broke than me. Thankfully, it declined because I noticed I could get a scrap more off a of backpack buy order, so I did that instead. What do you mean you declined, you fucking ass muncher? Thank you so much for never disappointing me and being there when I need you. Case, 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 case. You failed me. How could you? Oh, never mind. I take it back. Anyway, I found a nice CU taunt, a ref under buy order, so I, uh, I'm not even sure why I'm explaining, because uh, everyone knows I bought it and quick sold it. Man, the f*** am I doing in my life?
found a swag glasses for ref under bio order, so I quick sold that shit right after I looked at myself for a bit. Mm, you attractive motherfucker. Okay, that's enough. Alright, back straight. Found a horrible horns, a ref under buy orders. I mean, I didn't think it was horrible since it gave me a ref profit. Finally, Scrap wasn't broke and accepted my trade, so now I'm 3.77 ref richer than I was before. Yay! Notice how I keep rechecking items I've checked before every now and then. This is because buy orders fluctuate a lot on various items. So when an item may have not been a good deal a couple hours ago, it could be now. So it's worth checking the same items every few hours. What are you actually talking about, bro? Do you think you're funny? I will remember this, Luffy, if that is your real bot name. Nice, uh, basketball, dude. Please, Scrap, let me buy more than one or two items at a time, bro. I'm actually begging you, dude. Oh! Holy shit, that's so funny. I wonder if I could get a G-Pan for the name alone. Probably. So, funny story, Rainbow joined call with me and was randomly complaining about being added by 20 plus people out of nowhere over the past week. And, uh, uh until he figured out is because he was in the first episode. Uh, really funny. However, if you're going to add him, buy all of his shit for full price. Thank you. Sponsorship over. Rainbow, I expect to get the payment within 24 hours of this video coming up. Anyway, back to trading. I bought more cosmetics for under buy orders. Uh, yabba dabba do. You know how it go. Listen, I tried, okay? Not every joke can be good. I found hair for profit. Let's go. Please, for the love of God, have metal for once in your dumb, robotic, beep boop ass life, bro. While I wait for this stupid ass bot to have metal again, I got added, so let's see what he wants. He wants my rocket jumper, I guess? He sent me a trade. Let's go. Also, said I'm here if he wants to talk anytime because I'm so charming and handsome and amazing and I uh, have a lot of friends. Right, guys? I said right, guys? Also, real talk, though. Please do not add people and uh, bother them just because they are in the videos. Give people their space and be nice. Thank you. Please, God, somebody have metal. Oh, my God, I'm going to lose it. Bro, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm a broken man. Please, just accept it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please make me feel better, gambling. Dude. Anyway, I bought quite a lot. Cosmetics under buy orders and resold for profit. Found a Dr. Seuss named Paint that was under buy order, so I snagged that shit too. Found more points. And finally, we did it. We got a key. After all those bots lacking metal. After all the people trying to rip me off. After all the mental breakdowns. It's done. <laughs> I did it. My life is complete. Then I quick sold it for profit. Yo! So this series blew up a little bit. Uh, kind of unexpected. But, uh, thanks. Glad people are enjoying it. There will be a lot more to the series, don't worry. I just don't want to post it super frequently, since I want to work on a lot of other projects, too. I have a lot of trading guides up on my channel as well, if you guys need help or any advice. And, of course, I do other content besides TF2 as well, if you are interested in that. Anyway, enough of the shameless self-promotion, even though it's, you know, my own my own fucking channel. Um, and also, yeah, like I said earlier, if, uh, please don't add the people in the video just to cause problems or harass people. Just, uh, you know, kind of leave them be. Uh, if you want to trade with them, go ahead buy their shit full price or something or uh, i don't know anyway uh that's it okay uh thank you love you bye